Well, she shook up the last federal election campaign. Her party is polling strongly as Queensland prepares to go to the polls. And Pauline Hanson is looming as a major obstacle to Colin Barnett holding on to power in Western Australia. The government is facing a big swing against it there, even in relatively safe Liberal seats in Perth's northern suburbs. And that's stoked by concerns about rising unemployment and the end of the mining boom. Now, it's been a campaign of dirty tactics, but the wild card is the resurgence of Hanson's One Nation picking up that protest vote. Claire Moody reports from Perth. It's Vietnamese New Year in the multicultural Perth suburb of Wanneroo. Happy New Year to you too. Yeah. And sitting Liberal MP Paul Miles is working the crowd. Well, I'm glad here. to see you here. Yeah. What's your name? Sienna Rose. Sienna. OK, so where are you guys from? Karama. Karama? Oh, OK, that's in my electorate. Yes, mate. You would have seen my faces. I get an email. Excellent. I love you, mate. I love you. <laughs> He's a Barnett government minister defending a crucial seat at the coming state poll. There we go. I'll, I'll, I'll serve behind here with you. How's that? How's that? How's that? <laughs> Thank you. Paul Miles holds this electorate by a margin of 11%, but even with that buffer, he's in trouble. Polls are showing big swings against the Liberals. And Wanneroo is known as a bellwether seat, won by the party that's won government since 1993. Yes, it does uh, tend to stay with the government of the day, but I tend to make that a uh, change and make sure I keep hold of this seat no matter what happens. After eight years in power, the Barnett government is on the nose. In that time, the state's unemployment rate has more than doubled. Oh, look, we're getting a really, really great response all the time, but it's building as people understand there's an election on and are working out that I've been here for months and months and months and I'm not selling pizzas that, hey, hang on, this is the local teacher. Labour challenger Sabina Winton is a local primary school teacher who believes she's in with a chance. Good morning. It's dire, particularly this time of year. You know, people are going back to schools and that's when the bills come in. After the Christmas thing, it's a people are really doing it tough out there and uh, the cost of living, living is so huge. While the major parties are pitching competing infrastructure projects to boost the jobs market and the economy, many voters have lost faith. The policies to me stand for what most Australians would like to see happen to the country rather than it being overrun by things that are politically correct all the time. I think they want to swing back to basics. Just a nice cool drink for today? Yeah, just... Vivian Davies runs a stall at the Wanneroo Markets. A swinging voter, she plans to vote for Pauline Hanson's resurgent One Nation party. The party offers WA um, more um, of what the people, the ordinary hard-working people of the state and the country want. Yes, not so much the big businessmen and so on. This is the man she'll be voting for, Joe Darcy, a local business owner. We've had the Liberals in, in power for eight years now. After eight years and a booming economy for the first five years, they're leaving now, which I believe they will leave, and they're leaving us a debt of nearly $36 billion. Polls suggest One Nation's support in WA has climbed to 13%, and the party's likely to hold the balance of power in the upper house. It says part of its appeal is its strong stance on Muslim immigration. There's good Muslims and bad Muslims. I'm very happy to take the good Muslims in. There's lots of good Muslims living in this country, abiding by the laws, and fantastic citizens, and we're happy with those. What people got to realise is it's the radical Muslims, the Islamic Muslims, who want to come here and take away and change our way and our style of living. We don't want that. One Nation's preferences could be crucial in the state election and the party said these will be decided on a seat-by-seat -seat basis. While Labour has ruled out trading preferences with the party, a deal could be the Liberals' last hope. What do you think about the Liberals' preferencing One Nation? Do you agree with that? Well, I don't have a problem with it at all. One Nation is not the party it used to be and I think some people need to get over the fact that, you know, that, that party's sort of grown up somewhat. It's 20 years ago, I think, since... Uh, you know, the original party was campaigning around and it was quite different language then. Just a week into the official campaign, there are already claims of smears and gutter politics. 
In Wanneroo, it's cordial, at least on the surface. How you doing, Matt? Very good. This election, very nasty. Why is that? Well, I think because the Labour Party are so desperate to get in, they're going to say and do anything to win the vote. Paul Miles believes someone from the Labour camp is knocking off his campaign signs, a claim his opponent has rejected. Look, I'm, I, I, this is the first I've heard of that. All I know is that we've done a tremendous job of getting fantastic uh, commitment and support from the local community and getting our signs out there. So we're way too busy putting up our signs. We can't keep up with getting our signs up there. We will have no time for that. Labour needs to win an extra 10 seats for WA's government to change hands. You don't have to go far in this litmus test seat to find the disenchanted. The people are definitely going for Labour because they've, they've had enough of eight years, you know, of um, all this hard living. I don't think it's going to last for Colin Barnett. I think he's going to find that the people have had enough. I think we've absolutely blown the boom and the fact that there isn't any money now for major issues, major things, is very frightening. With four weeks to go, the result in Wanneroo and many other seats in the northern suburbs remains hard to predict, not least because the area has so many first-time voters. The Barnett government will be hoping the backlash is not as widespread as the polls are suggesting. There are so many issues, but I'm glad that the current government is uh, addressing very well to many issues that we are facing. So you're happy with the way Colin Barnett's been running the state then and his government? Yeah, so far, so far so good. Yeah.